What's up? Illegal Alley Show! Y'all ready for a fucking illegal time? How's everyone feeling emotionally right now? Fake enthusiasm. AKA dead inside. AKA make me feel something, Martin. Come on. We trusted you. We need something. The news is sad. Social media is sad. Drake is sad. <laughs> you could always count on Drake being sad. Everything else like, fuck. Tonight, I'm going to do new jokes at the end of the show, all right? And I'm going to start the show by introducing some of my comedy friends who've been doing comedy in D.C. for the past few years who I think are, my, are the best. So, on that note, are you guys ready to have a good time tonight? No, I need energy. I need like, yo, there's 10 people here. It's Friday. We're at a legal show. You already have a good time? Yeah. All right. Keep that energy going for your first comic of the evening. Give it up for the very funny Matt D. Gates. Ooh. Man, you told, you said CJ looks like, he like he's into Italian role playing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what fucked I was going up. For. CJ, is that true? Man, I don't answer that from dudes, man. <laughs> 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 You're alone. You don't have a lot of options right now. Dude. <laughs> All right, well, that sounds a... like toxic masculinity, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be open to everything right now, man. Guilty as charged. Yeah, man. <laughs> now, I, I've known CJ uh, like the past year and a half through social media, man. But I never asked CJ like, what do you, what do you? Let, let's let me, Matt. Guess what CJ does? What, what does he does he for like a living, he, or what he yeah. does in the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> Because I got to be honest, I'm almost out of guesses on what he does in the bedroom. <laughs> I've been firing him off for a while. Take what a he guess. does for a living. Yeah, what does he look like? You know, OG black dude Yeah. with the fedora. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was going to say deal drugs, but that was racist. So <laughs> I, I'm going to say he's a, uh, he's a mater d' at an Italian restaurant. You look like you hustle old people in Northeast uh, playing chess. <laughs> 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 like, let me let me tell you, let me show you something about chess, young, young blood. <laughs> Just beating the shit out of homeless people in chess. <laughs> Just like checkmate. <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> Give what, me your bench. <laughs> what do you do? Cybersecurity. Mm, yeah. We did not see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's not a funny job at all. How long have you been doing cybersecurity for? Damn. Okay. But it is kind of funny that you dress like that to do cybersecurity. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you block somebody from stealing somebody's website, you're like, no, mambo, mambo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, man. Now he's dressed like the member of the Mamba Five. The, you remember Lou Bega? <laughs> that ain't th okay. That was an old school reference that CJ okay, got. Monica. Uh, Monica? Yeah. A little bit of my, a little bit. Okay, yeah. Only, uh, only me and you know that song. <laughs> Damn, yeah. so I'm old. All right, well, Matt, I want to talk to Matt for a second because he's an interesting dude. He looks like an athlete who read books. You know what I mean? Thank you. You think y'all think he's well read? No. <laughs> Yo, that's what fucked the fuck, up. CJ. I thought we've been bonding this whole time. <laughs> All Yo. for you to lead me down the road that you think I'm an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, man. CJ, hate, yeah, he hates you. I know, dude. What the it's, hell? It's just because you're white, though. I'm going to sit next to him for the rest of the show. I think I saw him in the Capitol. I'm not sure Why were you there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He was doing cybersecurity. <laughs> <laughs> Standing outside. <laughs> he was giving them the password. Like, Fuck these white people. <laughs> Fuck trying, them up. <laughs> trying to hack into AOC's computer. <laughs> <laughs> that rules. Yeah, oh, man. man. So that's what you're into. You're into AOC. You like yeah. pants suits and Hispanic women. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Well, we got more show, man. Keep it going for okay. Mad Deacons one time. Keep it going for Mad Deacons. We're going to keep the show moving, man. There's next comic coming to the stage, man. She's one of my favorites in D.C. She's been killing the game. Make her feel welcome. Start clapping your hands right now for the very funny Christine O'Day. Let her hear it. Uh, you know, I've known Christine for the past two to three years, and every every... After like three years of knowing her, and I found out what she did, I was like, yo, that's crazy. I can't believe you teach second graders. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't. I just made that up. <laughs> but she kind of give off like a second grade teacher, you know? Yeah. 
<laughs> like in Frederick County, you know what I mean? Like I don't, <laughs> I don't know. But you could. Would you? Did you? Would you ever teach kids? No, I would never. That, <laughs> gross. Their hands are always moist and. It sounds like you got a bad experience with kids. I mean, they're disgusting little goblins. I don't understand <laughs> why anybody would want to have kids. Also, I would never live off of a teacher's salary. I'm sorry, but like. But no. you're a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not professionally. <laughs> oh my bad. What do you? I forget, you do, what do you do? Are you? In I'm a, a computer programmer. I was about to say. I thought you did cybersecurity, like CJ. No, no, I build websites and shit. And he protects them. Right? Is that how it works? No, I, I break them. Oh shit! Oh, so you're like, oh, that's funny because you're wearing a hat. And what are you? What is that called? A white hat? It's not a red hat because that's malicious. It's white or gray. It's the hat that does. Okay, purposeful. All right, I, we don't have to have a conversation. Just oh. the two of us in front of all these people. But. Y'all have like a co- is that a computer? Talk? Yeah, it's it's a term. <laughs> But I, I was like, I know speak, I, I know speak computers. The color of hat determines what kind of like cyber, like security hack you are. Like red hats, hats hack into uh, websites maliciously to get money, and then there's white hats who like protect against. And there's another color hat that like specifically tries to break into a site just to see its weak points. I used to play Warcraft when I was a kid. So you know, so you know. Like, that was the only computer game. That's my computer shit. You know what I mean, but yeah, nah, that's that whole thing, nah. <laughs> like, I feel like I had to take some Adderall just to listen to that. <laughs> but nah, but you killed it, man. Keep it going for Christine. Yeah. Oh, day! Let her hit it! Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, man, what a time to be a comedian, son. It's a wild time. I met people who wanted to get into comedy still, and I'm like, yo, don't do it. It's just hard. Like, when I started, it's like, when you start comedy, that shit's like romantic. Like, yeah. I'm doing comedy. And then like eight years later, you're like, I guess I'll keep doing it. <laughs> Cause it's just, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, you never know you end up in the alley doing shows. <laughs> That's not my dream. I thought I was gonna be on HBO and Comedy Central. And instead I'm talking to y'all like, I don't know what's about to happen next. <laughs> but I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here to witness me having this conversation with you, man. Back in March, when we went into our first lockdown, like my life changed instantly. Like I was living in LA, I had my own residency at the comedy store, and then someone ate a bat in Wuhan. (laughs) And just like that, I had to change up. My job was taken away, like my livelihood, how I paid my bills, how I lived my life, gone. Like we weren't even allowed around each other. So I had to come up with something quick to pay my bills. And I was like, do I sell drugs? I was like, not yet. (laughs) <laughs> I was like, let me wait this out a little bit. You know what I mean? See what, how this shakes out. And then I was like, well, I've been doing comedy for almost nine years. I could teach a comedy class, right? So I, I announced on Instagram, on my IG story, hey guys, I'm teaching comedy. If anyone wants to pull up, pull up. You know, first class, I had 20 students in this room. They came and they like listened to every word. It was crazy. It was so crazy because they actually like looked up to me. Like they held on to every word to the point where like, they would come up to me before class like, yo, Martin, we noticed that before you go on stage, you smoke lots of weed. <laughs> Is that like a comedy secret? Is that something that you do to be funny? And I'm like, tch, tch, tch. sometimes you gotta get fucked up, dog. <laughs> They're like, we also noticed that you, that you live with your parents. Is that like a comedy secret? You gotta like live with your parents and be sad all the time? I'm like, hey, yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> We know it is that you cry in the bathroom every day before class. Is that I'm like, yo, get the fucking class up. So this next comic coming to stage, he's in my comedy class. <laughs> so I wanted you guys to make him feel welcome because this is how I pay my bills. <laughs> so I clap your hands right now for the very funny Justin V. Keep it going for Justin V, man. Good job, man. At the end, you just stopped. You didn't say my name is I'm Justin. Sorry, yeah, I, I was just waiting. What for happened? To come out. I'm nervous, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, he did good, right? Thank you. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. He's one of my best students. <laughs> nah, man, I'm proud of Justin, man. He's been in the class for what, three, four months? Yeah, about four months now. Yeah, how's the class been going so far? It's good, be honest. Man. Be honest. It's intense. He's intense. Have you seen Whiplash with that that Yeah, He's like that, man. He's tough love. <laughs> Is that like a white movie? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Even Harun's like, bro, that's white. <laughs> what a white movie. <laughs> Justin dresses like if I got my life like together. Like, <laughs> like man, Martin's going places. 
Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man. Um, that's good though. Like, but you getting out of something out of the class? Oh, hundred. I've never been on stage till like five months ago. So you know, yeah. Yeah, man. This, this is like the fuck after five months. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. should come through. We need more people that look like they're employed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Do you, what do you think about this crowd tonight? I love this crowd. Like this yeah, crowd, dude. these are my people. Like I feel like we got a bunch of consult. I work in cyber security. I did work in guard cyber security too. <laughs> What's like, going on? This is the energy I need. Okay, I need people who are worried about certifications and getting home at a reasonable <laughs> hour. Okay, not people that are getting after it on a fucking Thursday night. Damn. Yeah, dude. Your dick got hard when you said a certifi certification. <laughs> like, people have certifications. I'm like, what are you, what? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Where my PMPs at? <laughs> they need to have security clearance. <laughs> Third <laughs> class A. <laughs> That's how you talk. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to fail my polygraph after this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, man, but good job tonight, man. Keep it going Appreciate for Justin it. V, man. Good job. All right, man. We uh, y'all had a good time so far. Yeah. Are y'all ready for your headliner this evening? Yeah. All right, man. Check it. This dude is one of my homies. We started comedy 2012 together. He moved to New York. He had a show at the Kennedy Center. He has a show at the DC Improv. He has a show in New York at the famous The Stand. Make him feel welcome. Give it up for my homie Benji Himmel. Fire! Welcome back to DC, Benji. Thank you. Thanks for having me. How Martin. was tonight? How, how did tonight's show compare to last night? Well. It was fun. It was a fun group. Last night they were very rowdy and drunk. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of like corralling a bunch of loose sheep. Yeah, it was my first time kicking someone out. Now, I I, I didn't know it was gonna feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I felt powerful. I yeah. was like, uh, yeah, because she, you know, it was it was I wasn't, it, and then she like it was a it was a girl who was like too turned up, and you know it's like you could be turned. That's cool. But like she was like two turn, like what? Did she, what was she doing? She was like she was like everything I was saying. She was like yeah. <laughs> that, was was like, big, that was the big. That that was like the. At big, first it was funny, that but was then the I was like, "You're the, too supportive now." That's how the night started. Like was yeah. like yes, right? Every everything he would say yes. yes, and then like halfway to the show, she's like yes, and then fell on the floor. It was like ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dead ass. It was like right there. Yeah. The whole show was like, what the fuck? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, I had brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you got to get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. Take your brain damage somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Not on and my it was, watch. It was, it was tough because as I was kicking her out, she's like, I've been supporting you since day one. <laughs> <laughs> and I like I was like kind of like I'm sorry you gotta go. She's like I'm never buying another hoodie from you again. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like Cash App Dollar Sign Martin Amini. And uh, <laughs> yeah, man, that was last night. She's like, this is the worst comedy class I ever did. <laughs> <laughs> but this this crowd was like y'all were dope, man. Y'all yeah. like y'all listen. It was it was a eclectic group. Yeah, you know what I mean. We have all different types of people here, man. Yeah, we got. Your fans, yeah, <laughs> the whites. <laughs> Literally, the only white people here bought tickets to see you. Yeah, thank you for bringing the like the minorities. Well, Christina did. Christina also, <laughs> she bought a ticket for because Christina. Of me. But you're not white. You're what are you? But she's like, yeah, she's like for, foreign white. These are like. That's white, white. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's oh, my yeah, real yeah. fans. <laughs> <laughs> they said, we're Jewish white. <laughs> like, yeah, you white. <laughs> but you're Jewish white, too. Yeah. You got you got, a, you got a lot of MoCo Jewish vibe energy that like, but yeah, but, but also. I look like I used to go to fish concerts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Bonnaroo. But, does your wife like uh, going to fish concerts, too? No. I never did. I don't like fish, but I look like I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you look like you do mushrooms for fun. Like I, I, yeah, <laughs> dude, that's when you were like, dude, I found out about mushrooms. I was like, dude, I've known about them since ninth grade. <laughs> what the fuck? That's true. You gotta go to. You gotta know people who go to Jewish summer camp, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> that's the plug. Yeah, we've been talking about mushrooms for a long time. Yeah, I just started doing mushrooms this this past year, this past six months. It's it's changed my like whole my shit, my everything. Like it makes you think about like. Having a comedy show in an alley, <laughs> they're like, "I'm gonna have Christmas lights and a Persian rug." 
And that shit happened. That's not what happens when I take mushrooms. <laughs> what happens when you take mushrooms? Um, one time I was on mushrooms and I was, it was like in the countryside mm -hmm. and I looked up and I saw a mountain. I was like, that mountain's a chill dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of things I say on mushrooms. Sounds like your <laughs> mushrooms are stronger than my mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I need, I need some, yeah. I'm going uh, to continue to smoke weed, and uh, I'm going to work on some new jokes. All right. All right. Yeah. Keep it going for Benji Himmelfarb. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Did y'all have a good time tonight? Yeah. Tonight was a lot of fun, man. You guys were great. Uh, I just want to say if you had a good time, uh, the show's over, but I'm going to smoke weed and tell new jokes. If y'all want to stay for the new jokes, that's on y'all. What y'all saw was the show. The rest, I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> Because there's new shit that I wrote in a notebook. <laughs> Y'all want to hear new jokes? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Can I smoke weed real quick? Of course. You better share. <laughs> Tell me your COVID test. <laughs> mm. All right. We're back in the game. <clears throat> I feel like I feel like Trump's acting like anyone would who just put in their two weeks notice <laughs> <laughs> think about every time you quit a job man those last two weeks I'm being like I ain't doing nothing <laughs> I'm gonna be a problem you know what I mean I'm gonna give the manager like, like fucking headaches so I'm gonna be like fuck you Fuck you. Oh, you don't got my back? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna talk all the shit until I get banned on Twitter. And then, I'm a, that shit, when I saw him get banned off Twitter, that shit reminded me of like my ex blocking me on Instagram. <laughs> Cause I couldn't talk shit no more. <laughs> when I saw images of people raiding the Capitol, the first thing I thought was, White people need more experience looting. <laughs> I could tell it was the first time <laughs> breaking into some place. Cause they got in there, they, yo, they didn't know what to do. <laughs> they didn't really think, Pat, we're, we're gonna go to the Capitol and fuck shit up. And they got, they fucked some shit up. And they were like, now what? They're like, go on Instagram live. <laughs> and they're like, yo, we are the Capitol. And all the minorities like, you gotta be in jail. <laughs> Can you imagine getting arrested for raiding the Capitol and being in a jail cell and having to explain why you're fucking in jail? Like, hey, blood. <laughs> hey, what you in here for, cuz? I stole a pen <laughs> from Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> like, damn, that's fucked up. Like, I know. <laughs> Doesn't even work. Oh, yeah. They need more experience. Before the Capitol riots, some other shit happened that we, we forget because it was like that week was crazy. Uh, the Proud Boys pulled up to DC. And I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't know who the Proud Boys was. My homie hit me on my phone. Like, hey, yo, son, you heard what happened? The Proud Boys are in town. I'm like, is that a new musical? <laughs> They're like, nah, that sounds like a great musical, but nah. They a racist group, man. They in town. They're like, they racist and they wear flannel. I was like, oh fuck. And I like did some Googling of them and I realized the leader of the Proud Boys is a dude named Enrique Derio, an Afro-Cuban Latino. I, I didn't know what to think. The first thing I felt was like, damn, like Latinos really out here taking white people's jobs. <laughs> Yo, I was like, yo, we did that. We did that. That was us. Y'all don't know how to be racist. We gonna show you, son. We gonna show you how to do this, son. Eddie K. <laughs> that was my political humor. On to the drugs. I started fucking with mushrooms, man. That shit, I feel like mushrooms brought my family together. It made us have peace. I'll tell you what happened. 
it was around the holidays, and that's when I started experimenting with mushrooms. And my mom hit me on FaceTime. And I could always tell when my mom FaceTimes me because I only see a couch. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't see her face. I'm like, oh, mom's calling. <laughs> and bring, bring, like, hello, like, hola, mi hijo. It's tu mama, me. I said, oh, hey, mom, how's it going? Like, things are good. Merry Christmas. Uh, how's everything? And, you know, when you... Typically, if that's like a regular, not on um, mushrooms, I'd be like, this is so difficult. I can't, I don't know how to talk to my mom. But I was on mushrooms. And I was like, things are going great. I'm, I'm so happy, like, oh, I've never seen you this happy before. What's going on? I'm like, nothing. It's like, well, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. <laughs> I was like, don't worry, I will. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it did. And I've been talking about it, and um, I've been learning. Not everyone fucks with mushrooms. Like I was like, yo, y'all do mushrooms last night? Black dude was like, nah, I don't fuck with mushrooms. We black. I was like, yo, is that, what does that mean? Like, y'all don't like being happy? And I asked him, like, yo, you don't like being happy? And he's like, I just heard it tastes like ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yo, you don't eat ass? He's like, I mean, you know. <laughs> Time to time, you know, I ain't always, I ain't just out here eating ass every day, you know, it's like holidays and shit, her birthday, you know. I was like, yeah, like, you know, no one's like fucking like working nine to five, like, and just like, I can't wait to eat ass when I get home. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's like an acquired, like, no one, yeah, no one likes the taste, but like mushrooms, like, yo, once you get past the taste, just like eating, all right. <laughs> that was a new one. <laughs> Wrote that in my journal. Now, uh, I'll be honest, man, uh, I got a lot freakier in 2020. Y'all doing more freaky shit in the bedroom? CJ, why you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> you freak, <ew. laughs> Nah, for real, like, I never, I never body slammed anyone in the bedroom. <laughs> all right, never, all right. Nah, man, that's just good sex games, all right. <laughs> It's awkward because my girlfriend's here with her friends. Right. Her friends, right. can, uh, hey friends. Hey. Yo, y'all walked in like 30 minutes late. You know, y'all living up to yeah. <laughs> y'all living y'all 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 living up to stereotype. Yeah, kill that <laughs> shit, man. But now it's our first time meeting, and it's an interesting way to meet. Uh, y'all got it here. What y'all think of the show? It was great. It was dope. It was lit. Yeah, yeah, great. Dope. You know, like when you meet your fr uh, your girl's friend, like her friends, like it's important that they like you, because if they don't, they gonna talk shit. <laughs> like not in not in the beginning, but it, the first time, like my girl like hits them up, be like, "Yo, Martin did this to me." Like when I'm fuck, if I fuck up, then they're gonna be like, "I never liked him anyway." <laughs> I went to that secret little alley show with the little Christmas lights. He ain't shit. You could do better. So I, it's important that I make them laugh right now and I show them, you know, that I'm funny and that then, then they can like me and then like later when my girls are like, hey, what you think about Martin? Like, we liked him. He was funny, he was nice. So I just did that right now. <laughs> Got that out the way, yeah. That's how it was done. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I, I mean, I got some, that was it. <laughs> yeah, nah, that was it, man. Y'all had a good time? Appreciate you guys. Uh, before I leave, uh, before the show, one thing I want to ask everyone is um, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's a new thing I'm putting all my energy into. Um, I don't know, you guys know who Andrew Schultz is? Yeah. Yeah. So he shouted me out on this podcast, The Flagrant Podcast, and The Flagrant 2, and um, he was like, uh, hey, there's a dude named Martin Amini. Uh, we did a show together, and he's got a story about the ice cream truck family. And he, like, he, he basically shouted out one of my jokes about my dad getting beat up in an ice cream truck. It's a great joke. Uh, check it out on YouTube. Uh, but ever since he did that, my YouTube page has been going crazy, and um, it's because of that I'm able to sell out shows. So if you want to support me, please subscribe and, and check out my new clips. And uh, yeah, man, uh, try out mushrooms this year. <laughs> Love you guys. My name is Martin Amini. Enjoy this your night. Thank you. Bam, bam, bam.